and welcome back to Bear Food Kitchen. I am Tina Bear. If you are new to our channel, please like, subscribe, hit that bell so you get all the recipes every time we post. Today we are making a honey lemon chicken. Faster than takeout. Simple recipe. I make a lot of the simple recipes because you know I, I need my time. I'm busy girl. First thing we're gonna do we got the, we hit saute on the Instapot. We waited for it to stay hot. We're gonna add some olive oil, just like that. And then we're gonna add about two pounds of chicken. This is chicken breast, but you could use chicken thighs. It's boneless, skinless. You could hear the sizzle. To stir it around a little bit. You don't need to brown this recipe, but I like I do like to stir all the ingredients together. So good. Get it all coated. Then we're just going to go ahead and start adding to the pot. We have some lemon juice. What's going to happen is the lemon juice and the honey are going to soak into the meat. It's gonna become sweet and savory. I made some rice ahead of time. You could see um, our rice Instapot, easy peasy rice. Um, we'll drop a link for that. Super easy. A little bit of salt. Fresh ground pepper, about a teaspoon, tablespoon. I like a little pat of butter. This is like one tablespoon of butter. Gives it that creamy texture, flavor. It's like a flavor that you don't really notice when you're eating it. Then we have some garlic, soy sauce, ginger. I like a lot of ginger, so I personally would up my ginger and you could use fresh ginger or you could buy the ones that come in the squeeze container we're going to add some beef broth and this is what does it a lemon zest so delicious makes it so tangy and yummy we're going to put it all in there mix it up It already smells so good. A little bit of rice wine vinegar, just to give it that little bit of zip and counterbalance that butter and the fat of the chicken. Then we're gonna go ahead, combine everything, turn off your saute. We're gonna put the lid on. and close the vent to seal. Then you want to pressure on high, high pressure. Okay, so I went ahead and let it naturally release for 10 minutes, took out the rest of the remaining pressure, pressed saute, and now it has a nice rolling bubble going on in there. So I'm gonna take the cornstarch and the water Gonna mix it up, make a little slurry. Ooh. Make sure it's nice and creamy so you don't want any lumps. And we're gonna add that in. Stir that up. So you know, as the slurry starts cooking, it'll start getting hot and thicker. And when it starts to cool down, it'll even get uh, more thicker. Is that the right proper term? No, that's okay. <laughs> I have um, sesame seed oil. We're adding this at the end. So delicious. Oh my goodness, you guys are gonna love this. It's already thick and delicious. 
So I like to serve this with rice. I made some rice. You guys could look at my rice recipe for the Instapot. I'll drop a link for you. Pour in the chicken. Make sure you get the juice. You are gonna love this sauce, it's so good. I like to top it with some green onion. I love green onion. I would dump all this in there, so good. And some sesame seeds, just like that. Look at that, does that look amazing? Yeah, let me take a bite. The chicken is so tender. It just cuts so easy with the spoon because I don't have a fork. Super hot, I want an onion. Get that perfect bite. Woo, hot. Yes, it is so lemony, so sweet with a little bit of honey, not overpowering. The chicken is tender, so delicious, pairs well with the rice. If you want to use cauliflower rice, go ahead and do that. But this is my dinner and that is my lunch for tomorrow. I hope you guys try this recipe. Let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe. Talk to you next time.